Hello YouTube, this is Bowtied Media, and today I have a brand new reaction to Mazer and Keepsakes Open Heart featuring Lyle Collette. Um, <laughs> so it's interesting before I kind of get into the actual song uh, and what I pick and choose for my reactions because obviously I don't know what the song is going to be like beforehand. And so I kind of just have to guess or um, just hope it's going to be a song I either enjoy or have an interesting take on. Um, but the reason I'm obviously picking this track, um, Miser and Keepsake, uh, formerly Richard Caddock, uh, those are two very different artists. And if it was just a, uh, a vocal feature from Keepsake, I, I would understand that. But um, <laughs> as a, uh, an actual track to a production duo here, um, very, very interesting. Uh, Mazer is, is known for his really heavy hitting, just big energetic songs. And Keepsake is like the laid back, poppy, kind of just bright future based songs. And so I am super excited for what this is going to be like, uh, and who knows what this track's going to actually sound like. Uh, but you know what? Uh, let's get into it, and let's listen to Open Heart by Mazer and Keepsake. Oh, I thought... Lyle was a male name, but <laughs> it's a female vocal feature. From what I've heard so far, it does sound like a pretty accurate Mazer and Keepsake collab. Okay, where's this gonna go? This really does feel like a perfect Mazer and Keepsake collab. It does sound like the two of their like the two of their sounds blending together very well. Oh, there's Keepsake. It's really weird to hear his voice over like a D&B track. Super interesting track. Super interesting. Hmm. Wow, that was 180 BPM. I mean, well, it could be 90, but... 
Okay, um, that was Mazarin Keepsake Open Heart. Uh, that was, wow. Uh, like I said before, uh, in the middle of the song, um, that really did feel like the perfect blend of those two styles of Mazare and Keepsake. Um, I, I so often associate, uh, Mazare with the, uh, I can't remember the name of their vocalists necessarily, but like the, the screamers, the loud really just in your face, the rahs, and, um, it just brings so much energy and just like power to each of his tracks. Um, and Keepsake is the, quite the opposite of that. Uh, and so this really did feel like a lighter take on um, a Mazare track. It's almost like a, I, I felt like this almost could have been a Keepsake um, remix to the original song. I, I feel like it could have been that, um, if anything, but uh, it really did seem like a perfect blend. Um, and actually, now that I'm saying it, it feels like it could have been a Mazare remix more so that, of a Keepsake song. Um, but I, I think it worked perfectly for them. The, the collaboration was great. Uh, this isn't like one of my favorite songs ever. Like I'm, every reaction I do is not gonna be like this crazy thing, but I really did enjoy it. Um, it's, it'll probably be, it's like better than average, I think for the most part. Um, my initial thought would be like a, a seven out of 10 or something like that. Um, I, I, it's interesting because I like to think that I'm a little more harsh on my 10 out of 10s. Uh, I think last year I only gave like, um, I think it was only, 12 or maybe less than that for monster cat song it might have been less than that for monster cat song like nine or eight uh 10 out of 10s for monster cat specifically and like overall i think only like 20 singles got a 10 out of 10 for me in the year um but uh <laughs> i think i might have actually broken that already this year with porter and tristan um but yeah that's totally sidetrack um uh, it's a good song I, I i i always kind of tell myself that i'm not very i don't love drum and bass so much but i realize it comes in an ebb and flow for me where i i get in moods where i really really love and listen to drum and bass on a regular basis um, but for the most part i feel like i don't like driving back from work today uh, i was just dramming out to drum and bass the entire time i was hitting shuffle until i hit another dnb song um, and this would be a great uh, kind of filler for those playlists and or um, i liked songs um, i thought it was a pretty good collaboration that uh, again utilized both the sounds of both um, i think lyle how do you say that lyle, last name lyle clett um, had a good performance too uh, it, it was a weird the, the, it felt like the quality was a little different between her vocals and uh, Keepsake's vocals. They just, he has a very distinct um, sound effect to his or just the way he sings. And it just, it, it's very hard to describe, but when the artists, the two of them go back to back and uh, on their like singing of the song, you can really feel the difference between the two, either quality or just what it's recorded through or whatever. Um, but overall, I thought it was not a bad song, probably like a seven out of 10. And um, you know, that's, uh, that's my final thoughts, that's what I'm going to say. Nothing too crazy, nothing um, insane, but a pretty solid track for the two of them. But I have been Bowtie Media. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Do you like the song? Do you not? How does it compare to, I guess, other Mazare tracks? I think he's got an EP or album coming out. With this uh, All these arts look very similar, I think. Um, I think I heard it was an EP. Um, but, oh yeah, those art looks the exact same, that in Wake Up. Uh, but, yeah, who actually knows? I mean, people probably do, and I'm just uninformed. I believe it's an EP. Uh, but I will see you guys in another video.